We're telling ghost stories. Today on the show. Good morning, everybody. My name's Danny. And I'm Spoo. Welcome to the show. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to be looking at some of uh, our favorite paranormal videos across the web. Paranormal can be anything from ghosts to Bigfoot to Loch Ness monsters, but being ghost aficionados, <laughs> we like them. So that's what we're talking about today. Now, of course, uh, you know, we realize that uh, probably 99.99999% of uh, ghost videos on the internet are blatantly fake. Uh, you may even be somebody that doesn't believe in ghosts at all, in which case you might think that they're all fake. Uh, but, you know, there's a few of them that are out there that we simply can't find an, a better explanation other than what simply actually appears to be happening out there. So that's going to be what we're looking at today. Yeah, what we mean by, uh, obviously, we can't debunk them. Uh, we can't prove that they're hoaxes. Um, these are the top of the top, as far as we're concerned, of the ones that over a course of many years of viewing uh, videos on YouTube have come to the conclusion that if there's nothing else left, you have to go with the fact that they are ghosts. Yeah. So starting off, I want to talk about one that uh, has become a pretty famous one that's out there. And now this one actually has, at least I believe so, not 100% on this, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure it actually has been debunked. Now, I have seen several different videos out there that are claiming of this is how it was done, but as far as like an official statement saying that, you know, this is fake, that is the part that I'm not certain about. And that is, of course, the Pantry Ghost. Um, here's a quick clip of the Pantry Ghost, just so you know what we're talking about here. So, as you can see there, pretty simple. It's a ghost in a pantry, hence the name. It, it's pretty cut and dry. I, you're filming the, the pantry, and next thing you know, there, there's the face. Yeah. Um, kind of startling. I remember the first time I saw it, um, I absolutely thought that was 100% real. I, I don't really remember what, what my initial thoughts were on it. I mean, it was a long time ago. I, I mean, this I, I don't know exactly when this one came around, but it's, it's been a while. It's been a good long while. Um, but uh, I, I've seen everything from, you know, this was Photoshop, this was After Effects, uh, to the, the best explanation that I've seen for it is that there's actually a hidden door on the inside. Uh, a lot of pantries will actually have kind of a false, false wall um, that opens up and that there actually is a real girl standing inside mm -hmm. there simply opening the door, pressing her face up, and then when she closes the door, it causes air pressure that pushes, pushes the, door the door open. Door. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, but again, you know, hey, up for debate. You you wanna you wanna watch that video and say, oh yeah, that's absolutely real, most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. Hey, that's you know that's that's your call. Again, it's it's totally up to you. Uh, it's it's the eye of the beholder uh, factor, so to speak. Um, yeah. Could be real, could be fake. The, the final decision is yours. I guess there's really only certain people that know that, and that's the people that were actually there they're, doing it. They're, so, yeah. they're doing it. Yeah. So hey. The rest of it is just for up for conversation and debate. And mm -hmm. as we've mentioned before, that's where you guys come in. Uh, what, what do you what do you got over here? I have um, a, a, a clip out of Honduras of of a ghost in a in a hospital. Now, little backstory: this is this is a, a children's hospital apparently in in Honduras, and they filmed this in uh, a pretty empty hallway. It looks fairly benign, maybe even after after hours, um, so to speak, but um, whatever it is that comes out of this door, it pauses, it looks, it looks both ways for it across the street in effect, and then, uh, then it walks across. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I remember I first saw it a couple months ago, and um, it, <clears throat> it was very startling. No, I, I actually have not seen this one here, so let's go ahead and take a look at a, a, a clip of this, and... Uh, and see what we think. Oh. 
It almost looks like a uh, like a clown. A clown or, or somebody with maybe just a, a typical sheet over there. I mean, I don't want to go cliche with my, ghosts. My, my, now, that I can see where, where it definitely looks, you know, pretty legitimate. Uh, I mean, it, at first it looks like an actual person poking their head out, but then once it steps beyond the uh, that dark spot there, it just kind of vanishes. My, my problem with it, however, is that it's being filmed through the window of a door. So could that not just be someone that's actually behind the person with the camera and it's just catching a reflection? Definitely, it, it could be a reflection. It's, it's, it's definitely odd. We'll, we'll put it in the unexplained for now. Yeah, okay. But, uh, but hey, what do you guys think on this one? Uh, whenever you're uh, putting your comments in there, you know, we definitely want to hear your opinions. Uh, you know, let's open this up for discussion, open it up for debate. Yeah. Uh, pick out your favorite one of these and then tell us exactly what you think. Um, what, what, what do you have next? What you got next, next one I've got right? here, this is a video out of Brazil. Uh, this one, I, I'm not going to lie, this one creeps me out. I, I mean, we're getting into some, some good ones here at this point. This is filmed in a morgue, and I want to say this was in the, like the last few months. Right? <laughs> that, looks, that looks creepy to me. I, I mean, I'm I'm pretty big on on the uh, the moving of objects, yeah. and uh, that's that's I wouldn't. Let's put it this way, guys. I would not want to be in that hallway at that time. Yeah. No. Oh God, no. I mean, even if that was something that you know was a prank being pulled by a coworker or something, I mean. I, I don't care. You, you got to have some pretty big ones to, to not be creeped out by that. Yeah, Let's face I, it. I, I, I don't. I, I don't understand all that is in this world, but that. No, I That's, agree with you. Yeah. I, I would not want to be either uh, on the receiving end of, of that location or a prank. No, I mean, there, I'm sure there's a hundred ways that this could have easily been done by by somebody uh, that's still alive. But uh, what I'm saying in see here is it's not obvious to me. Uh, that there is something like that happening, that there's any kind of hoax happening here. So, uh, you know, hey, again, what do you think? Let us know. Put it in the comments. What I mean, you got? Let us know. Uh, the next come, I, you know, Waverly Hills is probably known throughout the paranormal world as being one of the spookiest locations in the United States. Guys, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, could be somebody at the, just the far edge of the... Uh, the infrared light out there it's it's hard to say yeah that's pretty much what i was going to suggest with that as well i mean videos like that uh you know if you've ever toyed around with an infrared camera um but once things are out of its immediate line of sight uh, they do become pretty fuzzy um so i mean that that man i don't know i i almost have to lean towards that to me looks like just a guy off in the distance walking around mm -hmm. Um, Could have been somebody of their group uh, just exploring, uh, maybe doing recordings on their own. I, you know, I don't know. It's hard to say. It looks, it's a blob. Uh, in in some worlds, we would call that a blob squatch. So we're going to call it a a blob a, a blob, blob squatch. Uh, let's call. let's go ahead and get that trending now. Hashtag blob <laughs> squatch. Screw uh, <laughs> whatever. You have. Okay, we're gonna bring it down to this one now. Now this is one. Uh, this happened back in two thousand and one. Um, out in the uh, Redlands, California. Uh, this is at a place called the Barton Mansion. Uh, now, I, I've, I've known about this one for a really long time now. Uh, probably learned about it, I'd say within a few months from the time it was posted probably, or at least within the first year. Um, the, the quick version of the story, uh, a guy and his brother uh, had their girlfriends over one night. They decide they're going to go out to the Barton Mansion. It's supposed to be all nice and haunted. They want to go out and check things out, snoop around. So they go out. They bring the video camera with them. Uh, they find uh, the only real creepy thing that they find is like a, a chunk of meat 
that they described as looking like an organ. Like one side is completely uh, cleanly cut, it had veins running through it, that type of thing, and it's on the floor surrounded by a grouping of rocks in kind of a certain formation. Uh, they're looking around, looking around, nothing really going on. Um, eventually they get kind of spooked and th they leave. Uh, I believe it was right after finding the meat. So the next day, the, the two brothers had been talking about it and they decided that they want to go back. However, the girlfriends were completely adamantly against it. So they decided, they, they, they tell them, you know, we're just going to go, you know, out. And uh, they end up back at Barton Mansion. Well, the, the girls decide to stay in the car the boys go in. Um, you can actually, they actually sold this as a DVD for a while, but, uh, the, the second night's worth of filming. It was about half an hour's worth of filming. Pretty uneventful. I mean, they do see the meet again, um, but otherwise they're just looking around and nothing's really happening. Until they come into uh, this room up in the upper floors of the, uh, of the house. Um, and it, it, this is where the video is going to pick up at. So they, they will, they're looking at a, something's propped up against the wall over here. And you hear kind of a shuffle behind them. They turn, they see this thing, and I'm going to call it a thing. The only way to describe it, really. Right. Uh, well, you'll hear their reaction as they take off running. So uh, go ahead and take a look at this, and then I'm going to come back and explain to you why this one has bothered me so much. I, you know, for lack of a better term, it's 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 a giant clown is the only way I can I can describe it. It, it, just... it almost looks like a Nosferatu type thing to me. Now here's here's the thing. Okay, I know the first thing that people are gonna say is that is a dude in a costume. Okay, granted, possibility, yes. Uh, but when we got this DVD and we could see it in a, in a much clearer uh, copy than what you can find online, um, not to mention you can watch it on, a, mm -hmm. on the big screen yeah. TV, that type of thing, uh, so you get a, a little more detail on it. Um, and if you really search, you can come up with some better videos and things like that. But point number one, uh, the average height of a door is seven foot. Okay, This thing is ducking when it comes out. So, so well over easily feet tall. eight, nine, maybe taller, whatever. Maybe taller. Tall. Okay, so dude on stilts. But if you look at the leg, it bends. It bends in the right spot. Mm -hmm. So is it possible that it's just a really tall guy? Sure, I guess so. But yeah. to be that tall, why is he snooping around a, a haunted house well, and, I mean, and not we, playing you know, basketball? Let's somewhere. be fair. I mean, it could be some friend of theirs or whatever that's hiding out mm -hmm. in there. So come out with your little lantern and your 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 ghost face robes on. And uh, but then, it, but if that's, that's kind of where I mentioned the uh, the better quality versions of the video, where if you can find it, the facial expression actually changes on this thing. Like it looks at them and. It, it, for lack of better way to describe it, it smiles. It, it recognizes them as being uh, almost potentially prey-like. Uh, very <laughs> right. and like, and, hello, and I, boys. And I, and I don't mean that in like you know a sadistic kind of a murderous way. It literally looks like somebody or something that recognizes potential prey. Well, you better recognize. But no, the, the, what bothers me though, um, if if this is a hoax. Um, now, now I'm not saying that it's a demon. I'm not saying it's a ghost. I mean, it could it could be some freakishly tall homeless man with a weird looking face. I don't know. But the reason why I don't think it's a hoax, and this is something that's very simple. Uh, but you watch any uh, if, if it is a hoax, it's the best one ever because these guys are geniuses. If you watch any hoax video uh, that is blatantly a hoax, whoever you know they they. They hear the, the, the scuff on the floor, they turn, reaction, run. Uh, where, you know, they don't spend any time on it. You know, it's not like he turned to, oh my god, what is that? We gotta get out of here, let's run! No, no like, he turns and, oh, and they're gone. The reaction is very genuine. I, yeah. I will definitely give you that. It's, it's, it's so, one of the most genuine that I've seen. Now, whether it be a homeless, freakishly tall, former NBA star, or a demon, or a ghost, or... Whatever. Maybe it's Shaquille O'Neal. I don't know. But whatever it is, the reaction is real. 
Yeah, yeah, I agree. And it, that's why this one has has plagued me for so many years. Yep, I I agree. I nine out of ten, I'd easily put it in my top top ten ghost videos of all time. Sure. Um, but hey, what do you guys think? I mean, that's gonna kind of wrap things up for us today. Uh, what what you know? Share some of your favorite ghost videos. And if you've got experiences, let us know in the comments below. Absolutely, that that would be a good topic mm -hmm. for another episode. That would be. Mm -hmm. I've got some good stories to tell. So until next time, guys. Here's your Russian clip of the week. Of the day. Of Not the day. The... Of the day. So. Let's back that up again. <laughs> so hey, I'm Spoo. I'm Danny. Thanks for watching the show. And hey, here's your Russian clip of the week. So hey, I'm Spoo. And I'm Danny. And here's your Russian clip of the day. Blob Squatch. <laughs>